maybe a little bit about, you know, there are some common misconceptions of animation, and I deal with this quite a bit with clients who approach me and say, okay, I need some animation done, and I need it next week. And I, I need two minutes of animation done, I need it next week. And then I am constantly telling them that no, that can't happen, or it's not going to be enough that you have budgeted out of your budget. So do you have experiences working with this, and what do you tell live action filmmakers or agencies or um, you know people who aren't used to how animation works and they want you to do some animation how do you deal with that and 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 what are some things that that you would help um, sort of communicate to the director of the live action or the agency um, about animation so that maybe some live action people here may be like curious about they, I want you know this much animation or do you have an experience where you've dealt with this oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess at different levels with, with uh, commercial work like TV spots and all that because TV spots they, they would always have the I guess the live action component which is big and they have they would have something like a little thing that would be animated and uh, it's always that struggle with the time you know they say but it's only five seconds and you go well, yeah but that would be maybe like two weeks you know to and we need to model that stuff we need to rig that stuff we need what, what does that mean? And uh, we just need to educate the client. And it always depends on who the client is. Sometimes you can't really do that. Um, and I'll give you ex an example for that one. When uh, we were working on the uh, feature film Dragon Ball Z, I don't know if you guys saw it, that was last year. And uh, when they were shopping around studios, uh, they needed to see if, if it was doable within the budget they had. So I was working with this director from LA that they sent to me just to prove that we could do it. And he had this idea of, uh, it was a fighting sequence, Dragon Ball, throwing things and kicks and all that. Uh, and, the, and the main thing was to prove that in, in with, with a sequence of about like three minutes, they would say this is doable within the budget uh, we have for the movie. And it was, it was always like, okay, so he would stand up and, okay, so the guy comes here. I just do, and he's going to do that. And he grabs the sword, okay. So he, they would just communicate to you the performance, and you would be like an anime, okay, yeah, anticipation, action, reaction, sure, yeah, twisted right there, yeah, okay, good. And then you would say something, okay, that would be done in four days. And the guy would, the guy would be sitting next to you. Okay, do it. I was like, well, I can't just do it like that, you know? And that, that's one of the cases that you can't really say no because it's big, it's a big thing. So what, was, what ended up happening is that uh, I, I just explained, well, we, this is the way that it works. We need to get some poses and then you would see some motion and then you would see something that's kind of like, okay. And uh, every single time that we, we would be um, play blasting, if you, if you guys don't play blast that stuff, just when you uh, play blast. <laughs> Produce a movie, get a little yeah, so when you play Blast, you see the animation, he would get, again, frustrated with the things. He would be like, well, he, he feels like he just needs more strength, you know? It just didn't feel like that kick is not kicking, you know? So he would just get like that. It was a constant struggle about, okay, just, just wait. Just, we need to refine the animation. We need to do all these things. So slowly, they, they get it, um, but they need to go through that frustration, for sure. And, um, and the, um, the not so good thing is that that frustration, they, it just lands on you because they have this rush about getting things through, especially those kind of budgets. He would be in, in LA, in talking to LA, saying, but this thing's going really slow, man. I don't know. Animation, are you sure? And you would be right there. And um, you, just, you just try to make your best. But that would be a situation you can't really do as much in educating the client because they're, they're just big shots, you know, from, from Los Angeles. But anyway, that, I haven't really seen anything that um, a client that, that comes, um, I guess, blank into animation and he's happy straight away. No. But it'll be okay, though. <laughs> <laughs> right, Emily, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you've dealt with this. Yeah, well, for me, it's more um, turnarounds, changes. I find that sometimes it's very hard for. Um, people who deal more, more with live action to understand how long it takes to do a fix, uh, how long, like what it involves to actually change the angle of the camera, 
in a shot, um, change the motion of a character, something that it's, I have to admit that I've never done live action, but it's, I find that it's probably easier for a director to say to the actor, could you do this instead when you deliver the line? Whereas for an animator, these changes can take almost, like, I don't know, a few days to fix. And um, that, and I find that um, also the, sometimes they don't realize that in animation, it's better to prepare a whole lot in advance, like put a lot of emphasis on your storyboards, um, the animatic, and try to understand as much as possible the film, the emotion of what goes through the character in that stage, so that once you go into the animation, um, the animators can just go ahead and create the illusion of life or whatever, you know? Yeah, hope it makes sense. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Now, I know at the NFB, um, there have been a few blends um, with animation and live action, and, and we've dealt with some live action filmmakers. I know Julia Kwan had just created a film with the NFB that sort of combined a lot of the live action with, with animation elements. So from yes. that experience, Martin, do you have any stories that you'd like to share about working with, how to, how to I don't know, gently work with live action filmmakers when it comes to animation? Like Emily just said, it's, it's very difficult to say your revisions are not easy to do, or cost effective either, right, so. Um, well, I could, I, I would echo what Emily said, but also I could share, I mean, there, there are also receptive live action filmmakers, and that it, it is a, a positive relationship, because we can learn from live action as well. Um, and uh, uh, my experience, you know, a, a few examples that have been have been have been good in the sense that it, it, there's a true kind of dialogue and conversation, um, and I think that what's really important is the idea of the storyboard and the animatic, that there's a a conversation beforehand in depth. One thing that I think animators um, can really benefit from is script writing and story development. We we um, I, I think it's part of our personality. We try and hold that back and feel that we want to save it till the to the screening you know like I don't want to say anything about my story just wait and see whereas they're with us with um, live action filmmakers they they have it all you know pretty much um, blocked out on paper beforehand sort of pre images and I think that um, something that I've learned in the last while especially my time at the film board was the uh, the benefit of a script and uh, get that story worked out um, before we even start to storyboard. So that's one thing that um, I learned working with uh, documentary filmmakers or documentary producers, and that is, uh, and Julia's film, for example, um, uh, was, a, was a, good, uh, a good example as well. And then when the, filmmaker, when the animator works with the filmmaker, there is that, that back and forth sharing ideas when it's all on paper work into the animatic and um, uh, that's where the the uh, software comes in handy digital technology it was so easy to 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 piece together an animatic and, it, and the animatic should read so that like you say you get to the the um, the actual animation part is almost is just the last 30 percent uh, of the of the production um, and that conversation is rich because Animators can bring um, real creative ideas to the table and um, broaden what what the uh, image says and, and can do. Great. So I think, yeah. I remember one thing that's important. When I, when I was working at CIS Vancouver, uh, it's a visual effects house, uh, there was one guy that uh, he got hired as a PA. PA, just doing all the coordinating, uh, not really involved with the production, but just getting all the papers, shots, and all that. And um, he was a director, he was a, a live action director. And his only purpose for that, it was for him to get to know the process. So he would come to us and say, how do you guys do this? You know, the client is asking for this, how do you guys do it? How long is it gonna take? He was asking all these questions. Um, and, and he was only saying, you know, I am a director, I just need to know the process. And after a couple of years, he, um, he was still there. And he came to us saying, 
he had an idea for a really short, short film. It was like 20 seconds. And it's something that he went out and, and shot a couple of uh, you know, scenes from the street. And he came back and he gave us that. And he said, let's, let's do this, guys. So we were, we were staying late for him, because he was just a, like a mean and cake for that. Um, but the main thing that he was after was, I need to know the process. I need to know how long that's going to take. How do you guys do this? How do you guys do that from here? If I ask for that note, how long is it going to take? So he was only, you know, with that, uh, I guess, uh, ambition, you know, just to get to know the process. And I thought that was really smart. And I don't think he's there anymore, but he went to uh, direct his own films.